Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, this is still part of the stage hacking series, but um, it's uh, not working with the actual stage. It's um, working with music. Um, the only real reason I see you um, make music is besides to um, have something to listen to that is actually more enjoyable than the song that is going on during the actual stage um, is to put music that suits your custom stage. So, let's get started. Um, you're going to need uh, find it, Gold Wave um, or another um, Yes, sound editor that can uh that's multi-channel. Um, you're also going to need find it. Some called music tool. Um, I am going to link to the download for this, and I'm also going to show you how to install it. Well, kind of. Um, and you're also going to need some music. Um, that's kind of repetitive. Something that has a loop in it. Um, it doesn't need to have a loop. But, um, it's just good too. <clears throat> but anyway, let us get uh, some music. Um, use it. Uh, let's see. Repetitive, 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 repet. Ah, let's go by Neo. No, oh, Calvin Harris. But anyway, uh, this is very repetitive. Um. I already have um, the loop um, set up, so I'll just explain how to get it, and then I will set it. Uh, let me just get some things. Alright, I got what I needed. Um, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a start position and the end position. The start is really the only thing you need to care about. As you can see, here's the song. Uh, when you play it, um, it's all about where you, going. you uh, hear the song, obviously. Uh, but we're going to look for a loop. And by the beginning of the loop, so, when Neo starts saying, let's go, that's where I'm going to start putting the loop. So, I'm going to put in the start position of the loop just to show you and save time. That's where I'm going to start the loop. Um, to set where you want the loop to start, just put your uh, cursor thing somewhere. Right click and hit like hit start marker. To where you want the loop to end, right click and hit set finish marker. Um, <coughs> that's what you need to know for making a loop. Um, now to speed things up again, like I said, I already have the loop positions. Um, once you found where you want the loop to start and where to end, uh, hit Shift E. Uh, the start and finish position should be um where your loop, where you set the start and finish marker.
Yeah. Like humor my loot. Um So now that you know where you're gonna have the start and finish, you need to delete everything past your finish marker. You still need to have your starting position. So shift D, copy the start position. Uh let's just change this to zero really it all in. Then hit trim, which will delete everything that isn't highlighted. You got that. Now, what you need to do is quickly save it. Um, save as... Save it just to your desktop, make it easier. It's got to be a WAV file. Yeah. All right. Now, here's the part where you use the music tool. Uh huh. Now, to make the music tool um work, you're gonna need to um follow the directions in the um info folder. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um. To install it, you just need to copy these files into your system folder, and that's pretty much it. Um, so hit that start batch file. I'll launch up command prompt. Select whether you want mono or stereo. Um, if you s type in C or D, uh, victory theme, that means it will not loop and you want it to loop if you're doing it on a stage so if you are going to hit use mono type A if you're going to use stereo type B um, most newer TVs have a stereo sound speaker um, but if you have an older TV one of those box TVs um, Choose mono if you're um, not sure if your TV can play stereo. Uh, just check in your uh, TV's manual or something. So um, I have a stereo TV. Uh, so I'm going to hit type B because I don't want it to be a victory thing. Enter. Now when it says type the name of the song without extension, you're going to want to type in the W23. Now, if you don't see W23 here, go back into your music tool folder, and go into original songs, and put any BRSTM file in, as long as it's named something. So, W23. Now, go back into your music folder, and you'll see two new WAV files along with two new uh, text documents. Text documents don't really matter. What matters is the WAV files. Go back into Gold Wave or whatever sound editing program you're using um, and right click hit channel. The top channel will be highlighted and that is your left channel. So go to file Save selection as, not save as, selection. And, uh, whatever, just name it, uh, uh, left. Has to be a wave, has to be PCM, PCM signed 16-bit mono. Um, so just save that. Right click, hit channel again. The bottom one should be highlighted. Same thing, save selection as. Name it right or whatever. And now you're pretty much done with this. Um, 
minimize or close. Now, take in, delete the W23L file. And drag in uh, the file that says left into the music tool folder. And rename this to W23L. Do the same thing with the right one. Delete W23R. Drag this in. Rename it to W23R. Now you can minimize this. Now hit enter. It's gonna start compressing them together. Might take a while, might not. Um, now to find the starting point. This is where you need the starting marker. Which I've put here. Uh, it says how to get it. Edit, marker set, blah, blah, blah. Here's the start. Right click, paste here. Uh, my bad. Whoops, that's the end. Okay. Copy the start number in there. Hit enter. And wait again. Alright, now you want to name it. Um, let's just name it a tutorial. Um, enter. Now hit enter again. Um, but right here what it's going to do, it's going to delete all the files in here that aren't, uh, start, start BRSTM to SD, the, uh, DLLs, and the Perl. So everything that was originally in there is going to be remained. So now, enter. Um, and your... The RSTM file is now in the edited songs folder, and everything's deleted. So edited songs. Uh, where? One second. Now it's in the edited songs. And just close out everything. Now, <clears throat> there's more uh, modern tools that can in be used to do this process, but I prefer this method, even though it's older, because of a the fact where you can set the loop, but also this. Uh, program right here. If you run it, <coughs> it will automatically rename uh, your BR scam uh, to uh, an ID number of a song. And put it in your SD card. So now, for starting, you gotta type the letter of your SD card. My SD card is in the E drive. Type in E. Enter. And here is where all the stages are. Uh, since it's looping, no victory theme. Uh, let's just go with... Battlefield, which is... No, let's just replace... Two menu melee. Enter. And now, which BRSTM do you want to use as a replacement? Let's use tutorial, which we just made. Nine. Enter. 
it's copied. You can uh, do another song, or you can exit to exit. Now let me go into my SD card. E. Private. We. App. RSPE. PF. Sound. STRM. And a T zero one. T zero two. You open it up. Hit play. It's the song we want. Just news. Let's go. Test the loop by clicking loop. This little checkbox. Going toward the end and hit play. A little closer. It's exactly the same as right here. Perfect loop. Um, since it's been renamed and moved to the proper SD location, no need to worry about finding out uh, what the name is. Um, so that's basically how you make your own BRSTM music file for a Brawl. Um, I don't know if I'll consider this a stage hacking tutorial or a uh, normal tutorial, but uh, probably stay checking. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, ask in the comments section. You can PM me, ask me on my blog. Um, I'll go into my tutorial thread. I'll have links to everything in the description and probably a different uh, tutorial for music uh, making. Um, for more advanced stuff, but this is basically all you need to know. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.